There's a report in the New York Times that you guys kept asking China to help you stop Russia from invading Ukraine, and they didn't. So what have you guys done throughout this slow-moving Russia crisis that has worked? In what capacity? Well, I, the president talked to Putin. He talked to the G7. He threatened sanctions. He put sanctions in place. Now he says the sanctions are going to take 30 days. Uh, or about a month. Do you guys think the people in Ukraine have about a month? Well, Peter, let me just take a step, step back and explain to everyone how diplomacy works and how our approach from the United States has worked. Uh, what the president has done is he has built a global coalition uh, to stand up in the face of President Putin and President Putin's aggression and uh, invasion of Ukraine. Uh, what he has done is he has rallied uh, the world, our U European partners, even at cost to them in some capacities, to put in place uh, significant sanctions, historic sanctions that would have a, uh, a, a, a enormous impact on the Russian financial sector. It is President Putin's choice to go to war and invade Ukraine. That is what he has done. It is our choice and our responsibility and the role of the President of the United States to rally opposition and make sure they feel significant pain from that choice. That's exactly what we have done. And I understand that you're saying that these sanctions will have an impact on Russia, but what good does that do these people in Ukraine who are seeing the news and these U.S. intel assessments that Kiev is going to fall any day? Well, Peter, first of all, we are the largest provider of humanitarian assistance, of security assistance uh, in the world. To the Ukrainian, to the Ukrainian government, which still stands and support uh, and the biggest supporter of the Ukrainian people, uh, and we will continue to be. And we are leading this global effort to stand up against the aggression of President Putin. And so we are doing. The president is doing nearly everything in his power to lead the world and stand up against the actions of President Putin. What he will not do is send U.S. troops to fight in Ukraine because he is. Not